Chester Van Chime, Who Forgot How to Rhyme, by Avery Monson. Do you remember what a rhyme is? Here's a reminder. So we have pot, dot, goat, boat, fruits, boots, jar, star, mouse, house, puppy, duppy, stool, jewel, mushroom, broom, slug, rug, Red bed, toad road, mm -hmm. man fan, mouse blouse, socks blocks, fish dish, fairy cherry, elf shelf, towel, to owl towel, Humpty Dumpty, big pig, bear stairs, troll bowl, cat hat, mop hop. So remember what rhymes are. This book is called Chester Van Chime, Who Forgot How to Rhyme. Uh-oh. There once was a youngster named Chester Van Chime who woke up one day and forgot how to rhyme. Oh, no. It baffled poor Chester. He felt almost queasy. To match up two sounds, it was always so simple for him. See, Chester loved rhyming in poem or song. It always felt right, but today it felt not right, very not right. He tried not to panic. He played it real cool and picked up his backpack and walked to his learning place with teachers and stuff. He walked past the butcher and walked past the baker. He passed Mr. Wexler, the candlestick guy. In class, Mrs. Stevens knew something was wrong when Chester could not sing the words of a very popular nursery rhyme. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider right onto the floor, totally ruining his day. His friends tried to help tackle Chester's complaint. They made him three rhymes with some paper and assorted art supplies. The dog jumped over the sideways tree. The goat rode the canoe. The bear combed his silky smooth brown fur. Things weren't looking good, but they didn't despair. They sat Chester down in a velvety seat. <laughs> then they brought tons of rhymes to the room where he sat. Tiny lion, swingy sports stick, muddy foot wipe, fancy pants head cover. Extra big mousy looking dude. And they made all the rhymes they could possibly make. Big angry worm. Birthday sugar pie. Fork for giants. Very sad cow. The crystal clear waters of Win Win boy Winnipesaki the third largest swimming hole in New England. But none of it worked. Chester still couldn't rhyme. He felt like a clock that could not tell the hours or seconds or anything. He walked slowly home, and he shuffled his feet. Past Waxler, the baker, and the guy who chops all natural hickory smoked bacon. If they each had a job and they did it with glee, if he couldn't rhyme, then what would he turn into? But suddenly, something popped into his head. That baker had probably baked some bad sourdough. The butcher and candleman both made mistakes, like badly dipped candles or poorly sliced 
brisket. Holy moly, jeepers creepers. We all have bad days, Chester said with a grin, and rhymes aren't a contest to lose or to come in first place. So maybe I don't need to be quite so stressed. If I give it my all, but I'm not at my tippy-top peak performance. And easy as that, Chester's problem was done when he realized that playing with words should be fun. As the sun turned to red and the moon started climbing, young Chester could not stop his smile or his rhyming. Sun, run, guppy, puppy, orange, uh, never mind. There's nothing that rhymes with orange. Not really. The end.